The skin can sometimes be used to help us look into other systems. Hi, I'm Sarika Ramachandran. I'm a board-certified dermatologist. Today we're going to talk about psoriasis and some associated conditions. Psoriasis sometimes can be completely limited to the skin, but in recent years have found out that there can be potential associations with other underlying conditions. So when it comes to psoriasis, it's important to take care of the skin, but also take a step back and make sure that there aren't any clues that other associations may be going on. Psoriasis can coexist with psoriatic arthritis. Depending on which study you're reading, a psoriatic arthritis can coexist in anywhere between 5 to 30% of those patients with psoriasis. And that can be in age groups that are younger than what we think of in terms of osteoarthritis and some of the other forms of arthritis. The tricky thing about psoriatic arthritis, it, it can kind of look sometimes like other forms of arthritis, and that's why it's important to get checked out and see if there are clues that help to delineate whether this is part of a psoriatic picture or some other type of picture. So when you're thinking about symptoms of psoriatic arthritis, one of the first things that patients will complain of is joint pain. Patients may also say that they have swelling, particularly along the digits. There's an entity called sausage digit where there's inflammation along the joints of part of the finger and they can give the finger the appearance of swelling and there can also be stiffness involved. It can be somewhat asymmetric. They can have pain, some skin lesion. Sometimes things that can also be seen is you can have nail changes. It can affect the hands, but it can affect other joints as well, including along the spine area. In terms of how to diagnose, it can be with physical exam and also hearing the patient in terms of what symptoms they're experiencing. Some of the other things that can be helpful are x-rays. Sometimes x-rays can see and detect whether there have been the changes of psoriatic arthritis on the radiograph. And that's where it can be helpful to talk to the dermatologist and sometimes also get a rheumatologist involved. As dermatologists, we may see patients from rheumatologists who are suspicious for rheumatologic involvement or joint involvement of psoriasis, but are questioning whether the things that may be on the skin are part of a psoriasis picture or some other skin disease. So we have seen an association with cardiovascular risk in patients who have psoriasis. Both cardiovascular risk as well as psoriasis are part of like an increased inflammation. Our primary care physicians can help us track whether there is an increased risk and what that might be for a given patient. There has been an association potentially with inflammatory bowel diseases, and so looking at that potential connection, we sometimes see a connection with metabolic syndrome. As part of metabolic syndrome, you can sometimes have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, insulin resistance, and when we see some of these things, we worry that these may be patients that are at risk for developing diabetes in the future. And we can use the skin as a tool to say, you know, this may be a patient that's potentially higher risk for something, and maybe we try to address some of those causes and uh, relationships. Thanks so much for watching. For more videos like this from Healthline, like and subscribe.